I just made this big mistake. I was in an auction and this lawnmower came up. Nobody was bidding on it. It's a 36 inch Bobcat. Said it had some carburetor issues. And uh, I have not seen this thing. I just bid on it online. I've seen pictures, that's about it. They weren't very good pictures. But I, uh, what, I got the trailer loaded up. We're gonna go pick this thing up. We're gonna see it in real life for the first time. And um, well, we'll see if we can get do, do something with it, maybe get it running. I was working last night and haven't finished a project over here. You can kind of see it. Um, yeah, the, the door panel's off the door at the moment. Um, I had to go put in, there she is, because everybody seems to get in my car, drive it around and complain that not, not all the speakers work, so I'm going to make all the speakers work, but uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm driving around without, without a door panel on the inside of the car, which isn't too bad. We're off to pick up this mower. Okay, we're going on to a momentous occasion right now. I bought this Harbor Freight Use the left two lanes to turn left like onto the I-90 East ramp. And uh, what we're doing is, is we're going on the highway. We're taking it out on the highway for the very first time. In a quarter mile, merge uh, onto I-90 East. So I've been, uh, you, you probably hear the GPS in the background. So we're, we're going to see, get it up to speed, see how well it does. Hopefully I don't lose the trailer or anything. But I, I went on the forums, a lot of guys were like, oh, they actually handle really well on the highway as long as you got the 12-inch wheels, which I got. Uh, I looked at the tires, they're rated for 85 miles per hour. Um, we paid a little extra in tolls. Thank you, State of Illinois. But uh, we, so far, so good. We're up to 60. 60 we're up to 65. We're over here to 70. We're up to 70. She's bouncing a little bit, probably because she's empty, but other than that, it actually feels pretty darn good. Um, she's not even bouncing a lot, so... Half a mile, we have to the board today on I-90. So it looks like we can take a hybrid place to the trailer on the highway for a little while. So, we'll, we'll see if she holds up all the way down for the entire hour and a half drive. Okay, so we're here, and, uh... We just got back. Like I said, this is the first highway trip with the trail trailer. Let's see how she held up. Oh, the ramps are still on it. That's good. So, what you mainly want to focus on are the tires. They're actually pretty cool. And so are the center hubs, which is pretty surprising. I mean, it is kind of cold out right now. Predicted snow for tomorrow. Looks like I lost some, had some straps flying around, but yeah, everything seemed to held up okay. So I guess this is a uh, a uh, win overall. I wanted to take a longer trip with it. Oh boy, here she comes. Got it all loaded up. You know, you can see it back there. And, uh, there she is. She's all loaded up. We're ready to bring her home. 
Um, took first inspection. Wow, this thing, they did not do a good job with the description. It's got two flat tires. Looks like both tires are going to have to be replaced. There's a belt off. That doesn't seem like that big of a deal. Probably want to replace the belts. They said it was gear drive, and there's two belts running the wheels. So, um, yeah, this is going to be a, a bigger project than I first anticipated, but uh, overall, for 25 bucks, I don't think it's too bad. So, We'll get, we'll get her home and uh, get her in the shop and take a better look at her. So we got the lawnmower home, played with the snowplow a little bit, and we went and started checking it out. One of the things I noticed, first off, the air cleaner, which I took off over at the auction house because it was held on with some packaging tape, and that's in the back of the car. So I got that, those parts. Um, what I've done so far with it is I did put a new spark plug in it. I did check the compression. The compression seems to be pretty, pretty solid. And I know it has spark. I have, uh, cranked it a few times. Looks like we got some gas coming out of it. So, um, but yeah, no, no firing yet. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go take some starter fluid, spray it in, and uh, we'll see what we can do with it. bit of an issue but that's that's running just a little starter fluid and crank it up and she's going so uh this might be a little bit easier of a project than i first anticipated all right so we've had a pretty eventful day we got a snow plow we got the mower it's running um, at this point in time we've done quite a few checks on it now it's time to just to pull the numbers off do the internet research maybe put some air in the tires see how well they hold the air if they hold air other than that um, we're gonna be calling it a night besides it's uh, it's time for dinner